Hello and welcome to this history tutorial on the rivalry between England and Spain. This is for Edexcel GCSE History Elizabethan England. Today we will cover the reasons why England and Spain were rivals, examining how religion, politics and commercial enterprise led to an increased rivalry between the two during Elizabeth's reign and ultimately led to a decline in their relationship which led to the outbreak of war in 1585. One of the reasons for the rivalry between England and Spain was due to religion and this issue seemed to make the outbreak of war between the two nations inevitable. Elizabeth introduced the religious settlement in 1559 which made England a Protestant nation. In the 1570s Following Catholic revolts and plots against her, she began to increase penalties against Catholics in England, including the execution of priests. Philip II of Spain was also against the religious settlement, but did not take any direct action against it, and he also failed to take any action against Elizabeth following her excommunication in 1570. Ultimately, Philip did not want to go to war with England at the time as he was concerned that any attack on England would lead to an alliance between England and France against Spain which was something he wished to avoid. Religion was clearly a cause of declining relations, as Philip and Elizabeth had very different religious views, and Philip, as a devout Catholic, believed that Catholicism should be restored. However, this was a long-term cause of the rivalry between the two countries and led to a steady decline in their relationship. Philip lived with Protestant England for 25 years, so religion cannot be seen as the catalyst for war between the two nations. Another area where England and Spain were rivals was commerce. During Elizabeth's reign, English merchants had begun to explore new markets and trading partners. Before her reign, the bulk of English trade was based on the export of woolen cloth to the Netherlands, which, as we know, was ruled by Spain. It was through this route in the Netherlands that the English cloth was then sold to Europe. During the continued upheaval in the Netherlands, however, and Spain's campaign to bring the Netherlands under tighter control, this market was disrupted, which led to English merchants looking to places such as Russia, China, India and Turkey for new markets. There were also huge profits to be made in the New World, but English merchants faced problems in developing trade. Spain, as we know, controlled the Netherlands and this was England's main route into European markets. Spain also controlled much of the New World, which offered valuable new trading opportunities. Spain's dominance of the New World was problematic to England, as in order to trade there, merchants needed a license. The profits to be made in the New World were vast as there were valuable crops there such as sugarcane and tobacco and huge supplies of silver, but merchants found it virtually impossible to be granted a license to trade from Spain. Due to this, many English merchants ignored the Spanish rule and traded illegally. Some merchants, such as Francis Drake, even attacked Spanish ports and shipping. Philip could not ignore this challenge and made many formal complaints to Elizabeth about the activities of the English in the New World, but again he delayed taking any action. It is very obvious, however, that this commercial rivalry and the actions of individuals such as Drake angered Philip enough to eventually provoke a reaction. Philip himself, in a letter to the Pope, commented that he intended to invade England in 1585 as a result of Drake's continued raids in the New World. There was also a political rivalry between England and Spain. It is very hard to separate this from religion, as kings and queens in the 16th century, as well as ruling the country, were also responsible for its religion. Philip II, a strong Catholic, was the ruler of the most powerful country in the world. He also ruled over the Netherlands and of vast areas in the New World. In 1580, he also became King of Portugal, so the Spanish Empire at the start of Elizabeth's reign held no rival. Philip was keen for no other country to challenge Spanish dominance, and at the start of Elizabeth's reign, he was much more worried about the threat from France. Philip preferred to have Elizabeth as Queen of England due to Mary, Queen of Scots, having a strong alliance with France. He was concerned that if Mary ruled England, they would form an alliance with France. So even though Philip was involved in plots against Elizabeth and was aware of them, he never actually did anything concrete to support the plots such as sending an army. From Elizabeth's perspective, Philip's interference was annoying, but she reacted by moving Spanish ambassadors from court rather than declaring war. Elizabeth was very aware that England was in no position to take on the might of Spain. In summary, the rivalry between England and Spain existed for several reasons. A long-term issue between the nations was that they followed two different religions. England, a Protestant nation, and Spain, devoutly Catholic. Spain was a ruler of a vast empire which brought it great power and wealth, 
and under the rule of Elizabeth, England became keen to rival Spanish dominance and wished to rival them in terms of trade. This rivalry meant that throughout Elizabeth's reign, the relationship between England and Spain declined as the aims of the two nations led them to falling into conflict. For much of Elizabeth's reign, relations were under control and it wasn't until 1585 that the relationship had completely broken down and led to war. To get further help, visit history.outward.com, see your teacher in school, or check out quiz.outward.com for those sweet revision quizzes. You can also follow the Outward Humanities team on Twitter at OGAT Humanities. Until next time, that was a little bit of history.